it's a rainy morning, and I would love to be in bed too right now, Carly. Are you feeling that? Are you feeling you still want to be sleeping? Yeah. It's okay to feel that sometimes. God understands, I think, right? Right. Amen? Amen. All right. So today, oh, man, you guys all look tired. <laughs> Woo! It's okay. We're going to get through it, though, okay? Today, we're going to be potters, okay? So I'm going to give you some Play-Doh. Have you played with Play-Doh before? All right. So you know what you want. Do you want a special color? What do you want? Of course you want pink. You my little girly girl. What do you want? Blue. All right. Uh, this, you wanted the blue? Sorry, ladies first, though. Uh, what color you want? Silver? Here you go. All right, you guys can open it, right? What color you want? This one? Yeah, good. Okay. So you guys can open it and take out the Play-Doh, okay? You're going to be potters. Did you hear that word today? Potters. Oh, yeah, you heard it. I just said it. Thanks, Jake. Um, okay, so take out the Play-Doh. Put your, put your little buckets on the floor, the Play-Doh buckets, yeah. And we're going to do a little game. I'm going to time you for one minute, and you're going to make something that I call out, right? So we're going to make a flower. Can you do a flower? Okay, Miss Tiffany, can you set a timer for one minute? Yeah. No, make a flower. Go, go. Hurry up. You only have one minute. Yeah, you can, you can make it apart. You could break it apart and use only half of it, or you could, but you, you only have one minute. How much time left? Uh, about 50 seconds. Oh, okay. That's... Minutes long then, huh? I'm just going to sit here and look at everybody. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Come on. How much more time? Uh, 35. Wow. 35 seconds. A minute is so long. Oh, my goodness. So you know that Jesus is considered the potter and we're considered the clay. Does that make sense? He made us, exactly. And he molds us into the good people that we should be, you know? Can I ask you something else while you're making this? Um, wow. You are a good minute clay molder there, Carly. Very good. What, what happens to the Play-Doh if we leave it out? It dries up. What happens, what happens when we don't come to church? We dry up. We need to be here, right? So God could keep more. Oh, Carly said sadness. That was good when you don't come to church. Sadness. Oh, you got to call this out, Miss Tiffany. I, I can't hear you. I'm busy talking over here. All right, minutes up. Show your flowers to everybody. Woo, nice. Oh, yours broke. Good job. Okay, we're going to try one more thing. I want you to make a dog. Make a dog. Hurry up, go. Set the timer. Make a dog. Come on, just do your best. That's all God asks us ever, right? Do our best. Nothing has to be perfect in life. Right? Nobody's perfect but him. So while you guys are molding that, I'm going to tell you a story about a, a guy named Isaiah in the Bible, right? Isaiah said to God, God, please. Oh, oh kind of looks like a dinosaur, but somewhat of a dog, I think. I don't know. Miss Tiffany, shout it out when that minute's up, all right? We got about 20 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. And then I'll go back to my story. <laughs> what, what is that, Kyle? That looks like a... I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. Time. It's okay. Time up. All right. Everybody show your dog. Allison, it's okay. <laughs> Some of us are not potters, and I'm not a potter either. Good job. No. All right. So now when I tell my story, I want you guys to make a heart. Well, I'm telling my story. The heart. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Isaiah said to God, God, please help my people. They've turned from their wicked ways. They want to be better people. I want them to be better, better people, but they're not being nice right now. Like, kind of like here, you know, we have wars and things like that. And we just pray every day that God comes into those people's lives and stops them from fighting and things like that, right? So that's how we want to be molded. Do you know other ways that we can mold ourselves besides coming to church? Listening to your teacher. That's a good idea. Praying. Praying is a good, yeah. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. 
taking care of yourself. Good job, Carly. That's good ways to become cl molded clay. Yes, very good. So once you have a heart, what, once you have a heart done, hold it up. And this is how we want. Carly is good at this. I want her on my team. <laughs> That's a good heart, Jakey Kyle. Allison? <laughs> You're doing all right. I like your heart just the way it is. You have a good heart, right? Allison has a great heart. Yes. So we want to give our hearts to Jesus by being better people and letting him mold us into the people he wants us to be. Amen? Okay? All right. So you can put your clay, your Play-Dohs back into the buckets if for me, please. And if any fell on the carpet, I'm sure the trustees want us to pick that up. <laughs> All right. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear God, forgive us when we go astray. Take us into your hands and shape us to what you want us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.